Good day, I am Charlene Fababier, and I am here to present my research, which is entitled Leisure Time Activities Among High School Students of Emiliano Triaterona Memorial National High School, an input for the contextualization of K-12 PE curriculum which is the largest secondary school in Kawit, Cavite, who have 5,574 students from grade 7 to grade 12. Among these students are the four Ps, which have a population of 1,125. As we all know, four Ps receives help from our government. One of the requirements of four Ps is 85% monthly attendance, which gives them uh, four absences per month. Unfortunately, uh, they exceed the four, four absences per month with several excuses. Some are valid, but as we all know, some are not. So why did I choose four piece? Well, according to Dr. Jose Rizal, ang kabataan ang pag-asa ng bayan. And they are the ones with financial problem which hinders them from exploring recreational activities. Which activities that may choose to that may lead to their future choice of career. And a successful youth can lead to be a productive citizen that may pay it forward through helping the next younger generation. I would like to touch even just one student that would help the future generation. The wise use of free time is a legitimate concern of PE teachers since the purpose of education is to teach individuals what to do during their free time. A leisure, a leisure education hopes to develop students' ability to formulate positive leisure interests and activities. So is theoretical teaching effective in putting stress on the importance of leisure education? According to Bright Bill, it is, uh, leisure is important of skill and the readiness of to exercise those skill. These activities lead to contextualization and the de uh, depth admission wherein uh, everything comes to one goal wherein involving the community for the education of the child. As they have said, it takes a community to raise a child. So why is this in studies important? To help the government develop productive citizen, to give opportunities to the less fortunate, to help learners develop lifelong skills, and to open the eyes of those who do not understand the importance of leisure education. My objective is to develop an input for the con contextualization of PE curriculum for the 4P students, and to be able to do this, the researchers sought to answer the following questions. The profile of the students, especially their family monthly income, their number of free time after school, and their leisure interests. Their division of time, time for existence, subsistence, and for leisure. And their leisure commonalities. After gathering this, uh, the, the researcher would like to develop the best program that would suit their interests. The methodology used is that uh, gathering 20% of 1,125 4P students, collecting their leisure diary and time budget sheet, and getting their leisure commonalities. The questionnaire used in this study was patterned after Dr. Lordinho Vergara's master's thesis. After gathering those data, the researcher may, will be able to create a program that would best suit their interests for the contextualization of K-12 PE curriculum. For my data analysis, I used descriptive analysis wherein frequency and percentage were obtained and interpreted per category that allows the researcher to come up with a program that would suit the interest of the students. For the division of time, uh, their time for existence, which is sleeping and eating, would sum up to 9.5 hours. Subsistence for 12 hours, which is 50% of their time, which are school works, various households, chores, labor, and travel. While in leisure time, we have uh, 10 common leisure activities, which are watching TV, basketball, hanging out with friends, browsing Facebook, altering clothes, drawing and sketching, accessory making, biking, listening to music, and billiards. Since uh, watching TV is the number one of their from their common leisure commonalities since uh, they would wait for their guardians or their parents for their orders or ask them to do chores. For the profile of the students, 60% uh, have 6,000 to 8,000 family sal uh, monthly income. 
They, uh, most of them live with their parents and have 2 to 3 hours leisure time. 50% of them have no failing grade while the remaining have 1 or 2 failing grade. The ages range from 12 to 18 years, of, years old. For their leisure interest, ranked first is the category games and sports, then fitness and activities, next to it is technology based, then commercial and home entertainment, then arts and crafts. This is the interpretation per category wherein basketball and volleyball rank first as the main sport that they are interested in. Next is the music category with 58% of the students. Uh, according to the students, listening to music relaxes them after a stressful day. In technology based, most of them would like to play computer games and mobile games. For fitness category, rank first is biking. Next to it is dancing. Biking for when they are asked to buy something, they'd rather bike than to walk for those who have bicycles and others would really love to have a bicycle. Next to it is nature and outdoors category. Since our school is near to the park, uh, most of our students would like to hang out there. For our mental, linguistic, and literature, most of our students can relate to the stories in Wattpad, which gives 21.6% of the population. Then is watching movies. Since movies are free, you can just pass it through, share it from cell phone to cell phone. And some of them would like would really love to watch television while waiting for the chores to be done. For our miscellaneous activities, we have the highest is hanging out with friends, socialization for our students. For the suggested program for the month of April and May, I would like to suggest the summer sports clinic or summer league, which uh, Includes badminton, basketball, and volleyball. For computer literacy, we also have computer literacy and time management for parents and students. Not only students, we should also involve parents or stakeholders as well. And in this month, the announcement for Dota competition, the rules of it should have zero to one failing grade for the third quarter. Those students who have two failing grades cannot uh, register for the game. For June to August, we also we can also have an art workshop, a 2D art workshop. While for September to November, we can have our dance workshop, singing workshop, and art workshop, which are all preparation for the December, which is the concert for a cause and Christmas crafts for a cause, which can also give them extra income. For January to February, another film showing for students, which are Educational, it should be educational and love crafts for a cause which can also give them extra income as well and as much awaited by our students, the Dota competition or the Mobile Legends competition. While conducting this study, I have uh, these conclusions that the youth of today are still craving for meaningful physical activity that would develop their socialization skills and enhance their talents. That leisure interest has no gender. Communication is the key. We should regularly talk to them to be able to understand their generation. Exposing them gives them the chance to explore and discover. And failing to plan will always be planning to fail. Everything should be planned well. Not everything is learned inside the classroom. For my recommendation, the implementation of the program may decrease the dropout rate and inc increase academic performance, expand by increase the number of respondents. Correlational study can also, can also be done through leisure interest and leisure motivation and the use of different set of respondents. That's all. Thank you.